Okay, fight fans, fight fiends, welcome back to Manny's Thoughts. I, of course, Manny MTL or Manny Montreal. Make sure to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and obviously, thefightcity.com. As usual, I'll give you guys my thoughts on what's going down in the world of combat sports. Let's get started. First up, a big thank you to Bar Coins Metro, the best fight bar in Montreal. If you want to watch the fights, it's the only place to go. Second, Monster Gym. Check them out. They're by far the biggest and baddest gym in Montreal. Now, before I get to congratulations, I do want to point out that I was a little under the weather for the Quebec fight. And uh, normally I run around everywhere and talk to everyone and take pictures of everything. But I uh, just wasn't feeling it. I stayed perched where I was. And uh, I banged out a couple pictures, but thankfully I made friends with a Mr. Jeff Lockhart. Make sure you check out his uh, webpage, Jeff Lockhart Photography. Just fantastic stuff, and uh, he was kind enough to help us out at the Fight City. Here's hoping uh, we get to see more from him. Just great pictures, by far much better than I could have pulled off, and uh, I was thankful to uh, have met him. Now, uh, as far as congratulations go, wow, man, I got plenty to say. So, first off, a little different, I want to congratulate Gestel, brand new company. They're the ones that put on the event for Groupe Yvon Michel in Quebec City. It was their first time working together since Interbox is now with Aya the Tiger. And, man, they hit it out of the park. I was a little... Uh, I was being precautious about going to Quebec because honestly the last time I went I just didn't like the ambiance, didn't like the way we were treated. Uh, I didn't find they did a good enough job selling it. And this time around, complete opposite man. Almost 5,000 people in the place. Uh, they took care of the media right. We weren't thrown up all the way up into the rafters. They gave us different spots which were perfect. Uh, even the VIP sections were set up beautifully. The ambiance was just off the hook. They did a fantastic job. Bravo, Gestel. Now, as far as the fights go, congratulations goes out to Butch Bouchard, Custio Clayton, uh, Eric Martel, Kaboom Rivas, Elidor Alvarez, who fought a tough opponent. People didn't realize this guy was for real. He may be coming on four days' notice, but he was a for real contender. And the fight going the distance proves how tough he was as an opponent. Elidor Alvarez with the shutout nonetheless. Last but not least, obviously the WBC champ, Quebec's one and only champ, Adonis Superman Stevenson with a terrific performance. It was exactly as advertised. The name on the billboard said shootout in Quebec City and that's exactly what it was. Man, Williams needs to get props. I know he ended up on the mat at the end of the fight, but he still needs to get props for doing exactly what he said he was going to do. He just bum-rushed Adonis and, quite frankly, has hit Adonis more times than anybody else has hit Adonis. Uh, did some terrific work in there. I've got a few pictures of that. Make sure to check out the Facebook page this week. I'll put them up. Uh, honestly, you see Adonis getting tagged. So a couple of things were proven here. Number one, Adonis has a chin. Number two, he can take a punch and come back and throw one, which is hell of important. And then thirdly, which honestly I wish was the case much earlier, but it is what it is now, Adonis was actually throwing combinations and going to the body. He had a plan. It was great to see. I was a little worried with him on the scales. He looked a little, I don't know, he didn't look 100% in shape. And I was a little worried because Williams was looking at him like he was dinner. And well, sure enough, the best, the best moments Williams had were followed by just about one of the most concussive knockouts I've seen in a while. Beautiful stuff, Adonis Superman Stevenson. Lastly, a couple of statements I want to make here. The Fight City had a picks post for the Frampton Cruz fight, and uh, I decided not to weigh in because honestly, I was fed up of being the only guy picking the underdog and you know feeling a little stupid the day after every time I put up a pick post so I decided to uh, take it easy this time around but honestly what a weekend for underdogs so the first two things I want to say Robbie Lawler versus Tyrone Woodley wow 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 as this weight division is just 
you know, it's just tough. It's just tough. I feel bad for Robbie Lawler because on paper, on paper, by all means, he should have won this fight. And But to be honest, like I always say, no, I don't bet on fighting for this exact reason. Underdogs are just a word. And uh, honestly, if you're punching, you've got a shot at actually winning. And Tyrone Woodley proved that. Just heavy, heavy right hand and put Lawler on his butt. Just fantastic stuff, quite honestly. Good for him. Here's the interesting thing. Everyone Robbie Lawler defended that title against basically already beat Tyrone Woodley. So... It throws the whole weight division up in the air. It gives everybody a shot again. Tyrone Woodley did the smart thing and called out GSP or Nick Diaz. Genius. Genius. First title defense and you call out the big guns. The kid knows how to make a paycheck. Good for him. Lastly, man, Frampton. On paper, supposed to lose. All the experts in the media picked him to lose. The size, the punching, everything on paper was in favor of Santa Cruz. Frampton just kept coming, stuck to his game plan, put in some tremendous work, and against all odds, pulled out a great victory. One judge saw it a draw, but the other two saw it right. Something like 16 to 112, and 117 to 114, I believe. I'm not sure, but the point is, two judges had it right. And, uh, you know, good on Frampton, man. Very happy for him. Lastly, I just want to point out, guys, coming up real soon, September 3rd, Grant Brothers at La Tahu, it's going down again. Eric Bazinian's fighting for the WBO youth title, and also in the ring, Shaquille Finn, the Canadian champ. It's going to be a terrific card. Hit me up if you want more details about it. One last thing. If you guys are wondering how you can help me get paid, well, it's real simple. There's two ways you guys can immediately do something in order to help me. Number one, buy a frickin' t-shirt. They're online, or if you see me in person, just ask me, I'll sell you one. Secondly, like, share, and subscribe to everything I do. Pass it on, because when I get a sponsor, part of the reason I get it is because I show them the power that I have with all of you. And uh, quite honestly, I appreciate all the love, all the handshakes, people coming to check on me. I was in cold sweats at the event, and uh, you know, I really felt the love. Thank you, everybody. Like, share, subscribe. That's it for me this week. I'll see you guys next week.